What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent and today I'm going to be building a competitive OU team around Gyarados for Sword and Shield. Then I'll be hopping on the Pokemon Showdown ladder to test out the team and to make improvements. I have the Smogon recommended Dragon Dance set right here with a dual stab and then power rip to be able to hit Rotom Wash as well as Seismitoad. Heavy Duty Boots is the item of choice to be able to prevent taking Stealth Rocks damage and then we have Moxie which when you Dynamax and you get a kill you get both the Speed Boost from Max Airstream as well as the Attack Boost from Moxie so it's a really good Dynamax Sweeper and I figured it would only be fitting to team build around it before Dynamax and it inevitably gets banned right so the two things that Gyarados really hates are faster Choice Scarf users and then walls being Toxapex as well as Ferrothorn and regarding the walls one of the wall breakers they can really break those two is Life Orb Clefable, which has Flamethrower to be able to threaten Pharaoh, and then Life Orb Thunderbolt for Clef. Not for Clef, for Toxapex, so. I love the pairing alongside Gyarados, we're able to just go ahead and beat those two. Moonblast is just a really strong stab attack as well. Let's go ahead and put Flamethrower on here, and in the last slot, you can go ahead and run Stealth Rocks if you're running a really offensive team, but I definitely just want to run more of like a bulky offensive balance build, so. I'm going to go ahead and run Moonlight and just add a different Stealth Rocker later. Let me go ahead and run Life Orb on you with, I guess, max speed, not max special attack, and then enough speed for Bulky Corviknight, right? Bulky Corviknight hits 170, so I want 171, which is 60 speed, okay. And then we can just go ahead and do max special attack. Actually, what I want to do is put 64 in here, just in case I run into opposing Life Orb Clefable, and I want to be able to threaten that as well, so. I love the pairing we have so far. From here, faster Choice Scarf users, what would those be? Galarian Darm, obviously. Ditto I can't really do anything about because it's just going to copy whatever stats I have. And then I guess like Hydreigon would be the other thing. Rotom Wash looks really good right here because... One, it checks Galarian Darm, but also it lures in Ferrothorn. And by doing that, we can Volt Switch out and get in Clef for free. And that situation could be really promising. So I think I'll stick with Rotom Wash right here. Really standard pick, I know, but I definitely think it's the best option right now. Let's go ahead and run Volt Switch, Hydra Pump, Willow Wisp, and Thunder Wave. Yeah, just the ability to check Galarian Darm is so good, which is why I love this thing. Let's run Leftovers. And then from here, I want to get the Hazard game going. The team build that I built the other day, I think it was like the... I forget what team build it was. Maybe the Life Orb Clefable and actually. I didn't add Hazards until the end, and that definitely hindered the team a bit. I want to get some Hazards on the board right now, so who can do that for me? Hmm. Duckrio is not bad to be able to trap Pex. Could be good. And actually, if I run Focus Sash, the Reversal can also threaten Hydreigon, which is the other Scarfer that Gyarados really doesn't like, so... Maybe Dougie is the way to go. What are the Rockers? Seismitoad? I don't feel as though I need that when I have Rotom Wash. I think I'm gonna go with Dugtrio. I haven't used Dugtrio too much. The thing is, I definitely want Stealth Rocks on here, so I might have limited coverage. Earthquake, Reversal, and then... Like, normally I'd run Final Gambit, but because I'm trying to get Gyarados Sweeps so right here, I'm actually gonna run Memento to ensure that I can get safer setup opportunities. Let's go ahead and run Arena Trap with Focus Sash on you, and then just max attack, max speed. We definitely want max speed Jolly. Normally I'd run Adamant, but because Cinderace is in the tier now, or Cinderace has been in the tier, you definitely want to ensure that you can outspeed that. Then let's go ahead and run 4 and Spit Death. From here, we want Defog ideally. The team is also destroyed by Dragapult and Opposing Gera, so Ditto is looking very good. Do I run Ditto? When was the last time I ran Ditto? I don't know, but I feel like this team needs Ditto. Yeah, I'm just gonna lose to every Dragapult and Opposing Gera if I don't have Ditto on this team. Yeah, I have to. Let's go ahead and run Choice Scarf Ditto, and then on the last slot we'll figure out what we need. I would definitely love a ground immunity that doesn't take Mold Break or Earthquake, so like Mendabuzz, Corviknight. Those flying type options are definitely good. Let's go ahead and run 8 Spadef. I guess 8 Attack, it doesn't really matter where I put it. Minus Special Attack with Transform. The other abilities are correct by the way, right? Arena Trap, L Magic Guard, Moxie. Okay, last slot. What is the team weak to now? Yeah, Sandra Shaxkadrill looks really problematic just because the Rotom is going to take a lot from Rock Slide. I really like the idea of adding Bulky Corviknight. The thing is, would I run Bulk Up? I feel like I run the Defog U-Turn set, if anything. Besides that, I mean, Togekiss would be another option, but that's destroyed by Drill. Yeah, Drill is a really big issue. I think I need Corviknight here. Anything else that checks Drill very nicely? I guess like Fizda Pharaoh, but I don't need that. I want the Defog. Despite the fact that I have Heavy Duty Boots and like Magic Guard, it's still good to have like Dr. Focus Sash be preserved. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna add Corviknight with U-Turn. 
because I'm just going to lose every drill if I don't have it. Also, Ditto and Corvin, I just pair really well together because you can just U-turn into Ditto and then just copy whatever they have. Let's go ahead and run U-turn, Defog, Roost, Brave Bird with the leftovers. Like, normally, I'd, I, I would definitely love to run, like, a more setup sweeping one with, like, Bulk Up and then Max Airstream, but we want Gyarados to do all that today, right? So let's go ahead and run Max HP. 80, 72, yeah, 76, I think it's standard, and then 180 into Spadef with this nature. So, I mean, I definitely like pressure because PP stalling is a lot easier with it. Mirror armor is cool, but I can't really think of situations where you'd want to take advantage of mirror armor. Maybe against like Galarian Corsola, but I don't really think that's going to be too big of an issue. Do you get Toxic Dugtrio? You don't get Toxic because now that I'm looking at the team, Galarian Corsola is kind of an issue, but I guess if it like it's too much of a problem to just go ahead and update the team as we battle but looks good for now let's go ahead and get started okay i have a game right here my opponent has a very bulky team with between bronze on this is trick room i think actually yeah this is 100 percent trick room so i think what i have to do is anti-lead the bronze on this is a weird trick room team i think i lead clef yeah against bronze on it's on a is it heat proof on a balloon i could see it let's go for flamethrower it is heat proof on a balloon okay well, if it's heatproof on a balloon, what I want to do is go to Corviknight. As they go for rocks and just spam defog here. I don't know what they have to attack me. Maybe like Psywave. But I'm not really too concerned about whatever it wants to do. They go to Aegislash. Uh, what are you doing? You're going for Dynamax immediately. Okay. That's really aggressive. Especially because I think I just go to Dougie here and like kill you. I really want to rocks on the King Shield. Do I do it? No, that's such a bad play. I shouldn't rocks on the King Shield, right? I just earthquake. Yeah, okay, good. They attacked. Like, in case they had Shadow Sneak on Trick Room set, I didn't want to do that. Now what I can do is just... I mean, they might go back to Dougie here. But, like, we know they're heatproof. Why did you come in? To get up Trick Room as well? Okay. I mean, it was a little bit... Like, they could have tried to bait me there and go Hatterene, but I don't think they would. Let's go ahead and go Corviknight here. Moonblast might not even 2 go, so I might be able to roost this up, which is kind of funny. This is a really wacky team. Um, I, can, I could lose to Hatterene, though. I gotta be careful. They go to Bronzong. I mean, I guess I'll go to you, because, like... Uh, there's no reason to go to you. They're just gonna attack you and knock me out. Yeah, I just sack that for nothing. Uh, I should've done something else. Alright, it's okay. I think what I do here is I go to... If this kills, I really want to go for that, but I feel like if it just... I feel like I can just win with the Gara if I get a one Moxie boost against anybody. So let's just avoid that right now. Yeah, this is a Gara game, but what I need to do here is go to Clef first, I think, and just Flamethrower. Weaken that even more. I got a Burn, which is kind of cool, I guess. I'll just Moonblast now. Oh, they have Steel Beam, okay. That's really cool. I ran that on my Bronzong when I ran Trick Room, so that's kind of nice to see. But I still think they, they don't have a way to beat my Gara, I don't think. Three turns. I just need to stall out three turns and then Gara should be able to wrap this up. They go to Snorlax. I'm just going to burn this. Okay, it gets a belly drum up, but like... Once this trick room goes down, the game is still over. There's a facade. You can have this one too. I don't really care. Let's go for... Brave Bird. Yeah, now I just go to you and win the game. Like, this is the problem with Trick Room. Trick Room doesn't do that well, unless you have, like, a really standard Kaparaja Trick Room, because you just lose to... Like, if, if the opponent has one offensive Pokemon that just sets up when you don't have Trick Room, you just lose. That's it. Yeah, this is this is a wrap because of my Trick Room. Because of my Moxie Boost, sorry. I just Flying Thing you, Water Thing you. Like, the thing is, even if they Dynamax, they can't actually get Trick Room back up. Yeah, that's very dead, and this is a GG. Yeah, so, I'll be right back. Okay, I have another game right here. I have a feeling Trick Room will get a lot better once Dynamax gets banned, because there won't be a ton of broken fast sweepers just to break through your Dynamax or your Trick Room setters, so... That should be cool. I'm excited to try Hatterene out then. Let's go ahead and lead off with Dougie. As they lead Drill... I just heard the Quake. They might Rapid Spin here. But I wish I had Sucker Punch. That would be perfect here. <laughs> yeah, they click Rapid Spin. That's their best play. I'll go to Corviknight in U-turn. They go for Iron Head. 
Yeah, let's you turn out and then bring in... If I go Dougie, they just trap me with Ditto and that's it. So that's not a play. I think the best play is actually going Clef. Because one, it doesn't take hazard damage, which I really love here. And two, I think I force out Togekiss, which I can just go Rotom on. Yeah, Togekiss comes in. Um, I think I could also Dynamax here and try to mess this up, but I feel like Rotom initially is better. Oh, okay. Sub air slash flinches, is that what we're doing here? Oh, I broke through immediately. That's actually so lucky. <laughs> do I try to do it back to them? I'm gonna go for it just to see what they what their immediate response is. Probably Rotom, right? If this does over 20 to Rotom, which it shouldn't, I will stay in and spam air slash, but it's not going to. Okay, well, I guess I'm not finding out. <laughs> uh, that's kind of annoying, too, because the damage on Rotom could have been useful for Clef later, but I guess it's whatever. I could see them overheating. Let's test the damage. Okay, there's Scarf. That's actually really good to know. I'm glad I know that there's Scarf, which just makes their slash flinch even worse, though, because it would have been able to wear it down a lot because it's an offensive set. So we know there's Scarf, which is really good. They go to Pex. I got a crit as it comes in. I'll spam air slash a bit. Six percent. They recover. I'll just air slash here. Okay, now I'm out of them. Uh, what do I do? They're gonna go for Scald. I'll go to Clef. They go to Ditto. Okay, that's fine. I think what I do here is I just click Thunderbolt. Now I should just Moonblast. I should have Thunderbolted. Okay, let's Thunderbolt now, though. It'll do a good amount to this. Yeah, Thunderbolt will be able to dent it. They go Obstagoon. They try to double out on me. That's... It's not Guts, by the way. Just wanted to point that out. Really, Clef. You can't knock that out without a Life Orb. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Now, let's get back up to full and then knock it out with Thunderbolt here. Okay, nice. So, we break that down. I still want Ditto out of the way, though. Ditto is a big thing. They go to Togekiss. I think I go to Corviknight. What else did you have? I should have checked the moves. Ah, this is really sloppy. Okay, you can have this. They did have a fire move. Let's go to you, and I think I'm just gonna try to reverse sweep. Yeah, let's Dynamax up and go for Airstream. They go to Pex, I got two speed boosts, and that should be GG. Because they can't copy a Ditto with their Ditto. Rotom, I want to say Rotom just dies. They go to Togekiss first, which doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, now all I need to do is just flinch this down, which I only did one flinch, so yeah, there it is. And yeah, that's going to be GG right there. So this is a game that I was able to win using Ditto. I will be right back. Okay, now we have this. This team would get 6 0 by Gera if it wasn't for the Ditto, which is so sad. I just want my Gera to get a win out that's not against a Trick Room team that it auto wins against. Let's go ahead and lead off with uh, Clef as they lead Toad. I should be able to 2 it KO here, and they don't have a good switch in, which is why I let off with Clef. This is going to take a lot. I think they expected my hazards or something. Like, I don't know why else he would make that play. Oh, dude, you're letting somebody else take a Moonblast? It's got to be Sylveon, right? Yeah. 29. Huh? How bulky are you? Is that like... It's probably just max HP. Let's go to Dougie here. I think I just want to click the Clef double. They're going to go to the, the Zatu, right? This is actually a mistake. I shouldn't have gone to this because it gives the Zatu the wish that I was trying to avoid. <laughs> okay, they don't pass it to that though, which is interesting. And then they try... Do they think this is the rocker? It's definitely my Dougie. <laughs> They go back to Sylvia. Now I can guarantee to get up rocks here, so I don't really care what this does. Never mind, I'm starting to care about what it does a bit more. Uh, let's let's Earthquake once and see how much I do. Okay, that's fine. Now I can just get up rocks on you. I'm still faster, even, with the speed drop. So I call that there. Wish Protect, Calm Mind, Hyper Voice. Meaning I can just PP stall you. Let's go for Brave Bird here. What about speed getting- why is, why is my speed getting lowered? Is that what Max Reg does? It does, okay. Well, let's just stop here. As they go to Colossal, I should be faster, but I don't want to- I'll count on it. Let's go to Rotom. They go for Rapid Spin. I had no idea that's what this thing did. 
Ah, uh, that's actually really lame. Okay, I'm just going to start playing offensively. This is getting kind of bad. Yeah, they got a Barox there. I think I might lose to this team. <laughs> Out of all of them. They got a Wish going. I still have my Dynamax. Do I use that here just to kill this? Will it even kill is the question. If it doesn't, then I pretty sure lose. I don't think it will. I'm going to go to Corviknight and just defog. Colossal comes back. I just U-turn. Like I want to go to. I want to make the aggressive Gara play so badly, but I'm doing it. Yeah, they go for Spike that time. I didn't know Colossal got these moves at all. I'm just waterfalling, dude. I'm not messing around with that thing. If I click anything but waterfall and they stand, I basically lose the game. Now, if they go to Ditto, which they don't, uh, because if they go to this, then I definitely want to get out of here. Alright, we're just not going to talk about that. I don't care if it can get evasion boost, it's still broken in my opinion, but let's go ahead and play this. Let's go ahead and lead Clef on the Pelipper. I like Moonblast initially, but they could go Pharaoh. Although damage on Pharaoh would be nice. I think I'll just Thunderbolt. Although if they go to Toad, that would be worse. I'll just Moonblast. What they shouldn't do here is stay in. That would be a big mistake. I think they're going Pharaoh. I'm going to Flamethrower. Or their specs Hydro Pump and I'm just very dead. <laughs> okay then, that's kind of interesting actually. I've never seen that. In Gen 8 at least. I've seen specs Pelipper in Gen 7. Well now we know their rain terms are limited, which is really nice. I'll double to Dougie here. Yeah, because they're 100% going Toad. And what I can do here is just get a Brox. Half Dreadnought's base 74, you're not faster. I think all I need to do is get up a Dragon Dancer 2 with Gara, and this should just be my game. So there's that. Let's click Reversal here. And then just let them knock me out, I guess. Hydro Pump, Stall the Rocks, Earth Power. I don't know what last move would be, but we'll see, I guess. Hmm. So they kill me here, then, I mean, I guess they, if they don't want to, like, just give my Gara the win now, they could just not kill me here, but, I don't know, we'll see. Like, I have a feeling I'll just straight up win, if they give me the kill. <laughs> well, if they kill me, and then I just go Gara, Dragon Dance once, Max Air Stream, and it's a wrap, right? So they actually missed there, but I think that might have been better for them, because I'm pretty sure Gara just wraps it up. I don't think Full Health Pharaoh was helping them from that position. What's interesting here, though, is they have to go to Crowd onto an Aqua Jet, or they go to Scarf Draco Vish under Rain. That makes some sense, too. What do I do about this? I just sack you off. Vicious Rend. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go to... Let's go to Rotom. And just Volt. Or actually, I could Wisp. Let's just Wisp. In case they stay in just to Vicious Rend again, but they shouldn't. Yeah, just like that. Now what I can do is just Volt out. Not sure why you would go for that there, but I'm just going to go to Gara now and win. Yeah, they're like way too weak to this. It's kind of sad. Because once they get to plus two, everything under rain doesn't outspeed me. Yeah, now what I do is I just max air stream, and this is like a very fair mechanic as well. Let's go ahead and get plus two, plus two off just two turns, and I'm pretty sure I just win. <laughs> Dreadnought doesn't outspeed me, I just max overgrowth. Yeah, I don't think Grassy Terrain's gonna matter. Ooh, okay, that's kind of cool, but it's not gonna help you. Yeah, you're still dead. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, GG. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I have the fifth game right here. My opponent has a Dragapult, which is definitely scary because of my lack of Ghost Resists. Gotta watch out for that. I definitely want to lead off with my... Well, Clef does well, but if they lead Drill, that's a bit bad for me, so I'll lead Dougie. 
Uh, they lead Rotom, okay. So it could Wisp me. Do I really care about what this is doing? I could go to Rotom of my own. Let's go for Rocks. As it just goes for Wisp, but that's fine. I'll go to Rotom Wash now. On the Corviknight. This is great. What I can do here is just Hydro Pump. And I will Hydro Pump in case they go Drill. Hard Drill is a not a good play here, but... What do you even go to, right? I guess you could get the slow U-turn with Corviknight. That wouldn't be the worst idea. If you're even a U-turn set. Dragapult is an interesting play because it does it very well and you're letting it get worn down. So I don't know how much I agree with that one, but I think... I just suck off my Dougie. Yeah, I suck off Dougie, then get in like Ditto and try to kill this thing. They actually go for Draco and miss, so that only matters if it happens again. So they couldn't actually have their stats get lowered, but I didn't really care what that thing did. I get in you now. You could argue the better play was to Earthquake, but I didn't, I didn't want them pivoting it out. I just want this to get a kill now. Which, this should get two code. Now it does. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Yeah, I wanted to guarantee Dragapult was getting copied. So out comes you. Uh, do I just kill you? Probably. Yeah, that's probably the best play. I will live one. Oh, goodbye, dude. So I kill Corviknight as well, which is really helpful for Clef. Galarian Darm is not even going to kill me. Let's go to Rotom. And click Hydro? No, that's not boosted by Sun right now. I got a Wisp here. Okay, I missed there, but I got the spit after off, so it's whatever. I think they're realizing how little they're doing now. Uh, so they're burnt, so I might as well just Hydro Pump here. They EQ for a bit of damage, but it's not even too much. Then they bring in Dragapult. I go to Corviknight on the Draco, and I just click Brave Bird. As they sack off the Darm. Then they're going to go to Gyarados and try to do the, exactly what I did to the last guy. How do I not let that happen? I just Brave Bird. And then I think what I have to do is uh, lose. Is that the thing that's happening here? Because they're going to go for Geyser, right? 100%. And I, I just lose, right? Yeah, I should have kept it off. <laughs> yeah, this this is kind of bad. What do I do? Uh, is there anything I can do? I can maybe try to dodge power up after the thing goes down. I don't know. Let's just Brave Bird. Yeah, there's a geyser. I don't know if there's anything I can do here. Because everything dies. I guess the one hope is that they don't have power whip, but they should. Oh, they don't have power whip. Okay, yeah. GG. Um... I'm glad I did that before just giving them another Moxie boost. I'm glad I thought it through. Yeah, that's going to be a win for us. So I guess they were like Earthquake on last slot. That would be my guess. But yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I have the next game right here. My opponent once again has a Ditto. So Gyarados is not going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's go ahead and lead off with the Gyarados. I get to the drill. This is actually pretty good for me. I think I'll power up in case they go to Toad. I don't think these are on Rock Slide on, unless they're on a Sand Team. I guess they're on a Sand Team. Uh, that's actually really bad, because I didn't realize they had the tar, so they were probably not Focus Sash. Mm, that's really bad. Okay, let's just Waterfall and kill it. Yeah, I should have just killed it the first time. Crit Rabbit Spin does like 35, by the way. Why? And then they were Rocky Helmet on top of that. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't register that they had Sand on this team. I would have just Waterfalled immediately every time had they had I noticed. So now Ditto comes in. Um, is this just the game plan? Try to win the game now? I can do the exact same game plan, dude. Let's, let's go for it. Win this tie. That's what I thought. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> and uh, now let's go ahead and... Man, I'm being really aggressive after that Glalie game. I don't know why. Uh, this has Sucker Punch, right? Or it's just Sash, one of the two. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll just Overgrowth. Yeah, like, if they have Sucker Punch, I'm dead anyway. So, no point in trying to scout. Let's go to Corviknight here and just Defog. On the Toad coming in, and now what I can do is just U-turn to Clef. I would love to break the Sash on that thing if possible, but I don't think I can do that reliably. Let's go to Clef now and just spam Moonblast. This is actually okay. I think I just Moonblast and spam Moonlight. And I should be able to knock this out. That's going to do not a lot, yeah. This will 2 it KO easily, yep. And my best play is always just to Moonlight up to make sure I'm healthy for Tyranitar. And now what I can do is just Moonblast again. 
So they still have their Dynamax, and I have to keep that in mind because Tyranitar is still a Pokemon. I have my Ditto though, and this time I kept my Ditto around so I don't lose to any sort of setup sweeper. This is going to take a lot too. Oh my god, Clef, please calm down. Why is Clefable so good? How did I not discover Life Orb Clef until like a week and a half into the metagame? I love this thing. It is so strong. Do they have like Super Fang or Hazards here? What is happening? They just have Psychic. Was it they go Dougie? I don't think they even knock me out. They go to Tar. I have to just attack this. I've kept stuff for Tar. I have the Ditto and I have Sash Dougie in the back. So I don't see myself losing to a Dragon Dance Tyrant Tar here. They go for Stone Edge. Like, what sucks about the crit is I don't know if they're banded, but I guess it's not the biggest deal. I'll go to Dougie here. And just Earthquake. Like, Toad will get to it KO'd now. Dougie will get to code. Um, that's cool, but like... Now I'm just gonna reverse Sil you and mess you up. Yeah, that's gonna kill you through your Dynamax. Get out of here. And, um, I guess we find out if you have Sucker, which we already saw, so I don't not know why I'm saying find out. Let's go to Corviknight here and just U-turn on the Toad coming in. Yeah, there's that. Then I just copy them with my own Toad. Spam Earth Power, and yeah, GG. Doesn't really matter what they click. Yeah, because that does way too much. They can protect multiple times, I guess, but at the end of the day, Corviknight solos now. Yeah, they're going to try to switch out, but it's not going to help. I still have Corviknight just to be able to beat this. So yeah, that should be a wrap. There's a double down. I just go to Corviknight, and Corviknight should be able to wrap it up with a Brave Bird, if not here, the next turn. They go for Protect. It still should still kill. And even if it doesn't, I don't think it'll matter. Yeah, they're not even going to burn, but like because of Roost and all that, there's no way I lose this. Yep, GG. Because now we're going to burn Brave Bird, we'll just knock them out. So they should go for the double protect, but they choose not to do that. They did get the burn, but yeah, I'm able to go ahead and knock them out. So because of pressure, I would have been able to stall it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I think we've won every game so far, except for the one where I battled the Moody Glalie team. So that's pretty cool. What I want to do right here is lead off with... Toxtricity is an issue, but if I trap it, that's good. The problem is I need to preserve my Focus Sash. Maybe Clef is a good lead here? Against Darm. The only way they Oko me is with Bandit Crash, and I don't see that coming out. I'm just gonna Flamethrower. Like, if anything, the choice band user is Surfetch, then this is the choice scarf, right? And then, like, Toxtricity is maybe Shift Gear, Defog here, Bulky, Bulky. Let's go ahead and run Flamethrower. Yes, they go for U-turn. They get a crit on the way out. Could end up being annoying if I'm 2 KO'd by close combat from Surfetch now, but I'm not too worried about it. They go to Toxtricity and take 9 million, okay. Um, I really like Hard Dougie. They might go right back to Darm if they're really, like, aggressive, but... I don't know, let's see. Yeah, like, Hard Darm would be annoying because I would probably be forced into Rotom. Or I could just stay in. Yeah, they doubled to Darm. Good play. Okay, so I have two options here. I can choose to get a Barox, or I can go for, like, a Reversal. I'm gonna go for rocks. Yeah, this way I got up rocks and then I can reversal something anyway. Amanda Buzz comes in. I think I just want a memento. Do I just memento and get out of here? Is that the game plan? The thing is, if it has foul play, then it doesn't matter because it's gonna use my attack stat. I'm just gonna reversal and see what they do. Does 30, they go for defog. I'm gonna get up rocks now. They might spam it, but I will spam rocks no matter what. Yeah, I guarantee rocks here. Yeah, they knock me out. Okay, cool. And now what I can do is just get in life orb clef and start to do some work. Toxtricity is gonna die when it comes in, so let's go ahead and moonblast. I might even be faster. Uh, maybe that's just a wretch. Nah, no way. <laughs> Never mind. They just sack off Sir Fetched. Why? I actually wanted to see what that thing was doing, dude. Why? No. The Surfetched. Let's see, Toxtricity, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, against this, I think I just go to my Ditto. Yeah, because Overdrive doesn't do too much, and they're gonna go to the Ferrothorn here, so I'm just gonna go to Clef. Uh, do I have a reason to double? No, I just Boom Burst. 
Delica yeah, could have made the double, but it's really aggressive, and I don't want to make that play. Or I could just get him clef now on the power up and throw off a Moonblast. Or actually, just throw off a f Moonlight. What if they have Gyro Ball? Nobody runs that besides me, though. I only see power up. I'm gonna Flamethrower. Like, I really want a Moonlight on Rotom coming in. That's the thing. Let's go for Moonlight. Ooh, okay. So Max Overgrowth is doing 52, but now with the, the grassy terrain up, it's gonna do a bit more. So I could Dynamax myself here and just go for Max Flare and probably kill this. But I think the better play is just taking damage and keeping my Dynamax. Actually, is that the better play? I really like just Dynamaxing here. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so now I'm Dynamaxed and they're not Dynamaxed. So they just use their Dynamax for that one turn. Are we serious? And you don't even kill me here, so I can just max Starfall into something. Maybe they Volt Switch back to the... The Pharaoh? Oh, dude, if you lose this, you for sure lose the game, I think. I don't think that's a good play. I think this is over now. They go to Toxtricity. So they paired me, then what I have to do here is get in... I'll just give them this at this point. They go for Boom Burst. I think I go to Gear now and just click Earth Waterfall. That's actually fine. Yeah, they give me that one. Now who comes in though? Like Darm, I guess. Maybe Pharaoh. Manda Buzz can't really come in here. I want to make sure I don't get stalled out by Ferrothorn. That's the thing. But I have pressure Corviknight, so I don't think I can. I'm gonna bounce here. Let's see if they have Protect. They do. Okay. So if they have Protect, my priority should be burning this. Yeah, let's go for Wisp. I don't really care what this does. I'm gonna Volt here. I think it, if I really want to get this win, I think I have to try to get copy their Darm. So they go for Power Up. This might be a really long exchange because I have to, like, power point stall this thing, which is really annoying. <laughs> they go hard Darm, never mind. I think I'm just gonna go to Rotom and Volt Switch. As they try to blitz through that, but, like, Corviknight's the only reason I'm able to beat a Rot Ferrothorn here, so I should be able to win. It would have been a lot faster of a win had I just copied their thing, but a win's a win, right? Yeah, and they run, so I'll be right back. Okay, have the next game right here. We have yet another ditto. What I want to do is lead off with my Dougie. Dougie's actually pretty an already lead here. I think they're leading Toad though, so I'm gonna lead Clef. <laughs> this is also like actually an option. Okay, that's fine. I get the pressure immediately, which I really love here. Let's go for Flare. Like, I think I should be able to do a lot of work with Clefer either way, so let's just go ahead and Flare now. I really want a double Starfall, but I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, it would have been worth it, I guess. Okay. Well, let's go for Starfall now. Like, the thing is, if... Like, if I switch out on Crowdont, right? I basically lose a Pokemon. And if they're faster than me in their choice band, I basically lose my Clefable, and I will, because Crab Hammer would blow me away. So I didn't really think of another good play there. Let's go for Moonblast. They just take damage. Okay, I get rid of Toad, though, which is actually kind of good for me. Helps out my Dougie and whatnot. They're gonna go to the Cinderace here, right? And just try to Pyro Ball. I have to go to Rotom, even though Sun is up. Whoa, Banded Pyro Ball, calm down, please. If, as long as the next one doesn't kill me and I hit the Thunder Rave, I'm still really golden here. Okay, I died. <laughs> uh, wait, but they're dead. I just realized. Yeah, they're very dead. That's 100% Choice Bandit, too, so I kill this here. Never mind, I'm not killing anything. <laughs> uh, okay, panic time. Do I just lose? Man, that lead matchup actually really messed me up, huh? I didn't think about crowd on lead. Okay, let's try you. And I'm just gonna go for Waterfall. Airstream? What? What, is he, what do you get, Corbett? I'm a Cinderace. Oh, the other one was Airstream as well. I thought it was Flare, but then again, the sun wasn't up. So now they can go to, like, Gara, I guess. The Gara, I mean, ditto. Yeah, so there's that. They're just gonna click Power Whip, right? I'll just power up here in case they overpredict like that. Please don't get flinched and hit the move. There we go. And I do 84. Nice. 
And now I suck this off, and I have to hope Corviknight doesn't get flinched either. These are really scary odds, but I think I might have actually played this back. No, I think I still lose. Never mind. Even if I break through here. Okay, never mind. I lived a lot more healthy than I thought, so... Let's see who comes in. Crawdont, right? Every time. Is Crawdont going to be fast enough for me, though? I think I tried a U-turn. Okay, if I lose Corviknight, how bad is that? Corviknight's faster than my Clef, but no, it's not. I guess I just have to hope this thing is slow. That's the only win con I can see. It's slow. So I think I have to go to Clef here on Crabhammer, sack that off, then get in Ditto. Yep. And get you in. They do have close combat. Perfect. I think I have to click that here. They go hard Corviknight. Wow, that took nothing. Okay, I gotta go back to my own Corviknight then. If they double out into Crowdont, I might lose. Yeah, there's a Roost. I think I just Roost up myself. Okay, if I U-turn and Crowdont comes back in, I should have Crab Hammered there. I would have been able to win so easily. Yeah, Crowdont comes right back in. I think I just have to hope that Corviknight can do something against this. It's Brave Bird. Just live one quarter of a night. That's all you need to do. One one turn. It got blown away. <laughs> okay, can Crab Hammer win though? Hold up. I think Crab Hammer might be able to do this. I have five Crab Hammers. Oh, but they have pressure. I need to crit. I need to crit the quarter of a night. Yeah, I just realized pressure. Come on, Ditto. Just crit this. You got this. Yeah, I lose because of pressure. I wouldn't have been able to beat it anyway. Like, if I had infinite crab hammers and I hit all of them, I would have been able to win. But uh, if I crit right here, there's still not a chance because of pressure. Yeah, so that's going to be GG, unfortunately. Let's drop a GG in the chat. I enjoyed that one. And yeah, I'll get another one. Okay, unless this game is super fast, I think we'll wrap it up here on this one. Because this is like the ninth game now. I think I'm 6-2 and two right now. I lost the last one and then I lost the Glalie game. This guy's really weak to Dougie. Like, I trap you. I trap you. I trap basically Hatterene. <laughs> Let's lead off with Clef. Against Conk, perfect. Let's just Moonblast. <laughs> Even like Gastron is not going to appreciate the Moonblasts. This is definitely not going to appreciate the Moonblasts. What? And unless you're like fast, you're not going to... Okay, they go for a Prankster screen. Is your game plan literally just let's get in T-Tar now and try to win the game? I have a Ditto, that's not going to work. I mean, I guess I have to switch up my Clef. Yeah, their game plan is this. What is this? I'm gonna Moonblast you. Just 33. Okay, they're Banded Stone Edge. Uh, I think I just go to Ditto and kill it then. No, because I want to keep the Hat Sash for like everybody else. Literally everybody else. Let's just attack this again. Maybe I'm lucky and they miss. Like, who hits two Stone Edges in a row, right? I don't know what they tried to call there, but... I'll just give it to them. Maybe they overpredict again. No, they finally just attacked me, okay. So I'll go to Corviknight now and just U-turn. No, I should just Brave Bird. If it doesn't kill, which it won't, then I don't want them drain punching health back from anything, so... Yeah, let's knock it out. Now they're gonna go to Dracozolt. Which I think... What's my best play against Dracozolt? I think I need to keep Corviknight here, obviously. It can pressure stall Gastrodon. Hatterene. Trick Room? I'm gonna go to Ditto. It's Trick Room, okay. Draining Kiss, that's interesting coverage. Let's go to Corviknight here on Draining Kiss. And then let's just see how much Mystical Fire does one turn and go for Roost. Because, okay, they Dynamax it, so I'm dead. Uh, but they wasted their Dynamax. I say wasted, but it was definitely a good use. Um, this thing still has Magic Bounce, so I gotta keep that in mind. I think what I do is go... Two turns left of Trick Room. This is actually really tough. Uh, Trick Room Hatterene. That thing's really good. I didn't think, like, Life Orb Max Flip were just straight up Oko. <laughs> because I'm, like, 180 spit F on that thing. Okay, what's my best play? I think if I want to win this, I just got to try to reverse sweep with the Gera. 
The thing is, they have a full health of Draco's ult that I have to try to trap. So I think here what I do is I go to Rotom. I just volt out to waste a turn. Please live. Oh, I was hoping that would live. The reason being, I could just sack it off the next turn and Trick Room would go down. Okay, in that case, I think I go to Dougie. And just Earthquake twice. Yeah, Earthquake into Earthquake should kill. Oh, I got confused. I didn't think about that. Okay, I guess we go for game. Let's air stream here. I can't win though, I don't think. Maybe if I copied Draco's ult, but yeah, this Hatterene blew my team back. Oh yeah, I lost. <laughs> That's it. Uh, yeah, nothing I can do. Let's max guard here to stall out some turns, I guess, but geez. This Hatterene, it, it lived airstream too. That's crazy. Okay, maybe he's choking though. Because if I max guard here, then there's one turn of Trick Room left. Then I suck off Gera. I guess it just depends on who comes out, right? We know it's Bantar, so that's good. They go to Bantar. Oh, I actually can't protect. I think I just have to hope it misses. Which it didn't. Yeah, I lost. Because I can bring this in. I have to lock Dragon Claw. What is this? How did I lose to this? Like, I was so far ahead at the beginning, and then Hattery just said no. Okay, maybe... Look, this is the last game, but what would I do to fix this team with Hattery? Maybe I'd, like... Ferrothor wouldn't help at all. I don't know what this team could use to help out against Hattery. Maybe, like, a Hattery of its own. Maybe I'll try this to use this team again, but yeah, that's a game officially because I used Stone Edge. Oh yeah, there's nothing I can do. Let's just go ahead and run. And yeah, that's gonna be two losses at the end, which I'm pretty sad about, I'm not gonna lie. We were like 6-1, and one, and now we're 6-3, and three, but it is what it is. I did hope you all enjoyed. I might use this team again, maybe one more time before the Dynamax meta ends, because I want to figure out what this team can use to not get 6-0'd by Hatterene. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later.